The challenge tour arrives in the Czech Republic for the D&D Real Czech Challenge this week, the fifth anniversary of a successful event. Yeah, for us it's a historical moment because we are celebrating five years. Uh, the tournament is held every year here at Kunitická Hora. It's nearby Pardubice and about 100 kilometers away from Prague, eastern from Prague. So, historical moment, five years. We are proud about the players who played on our tournament. Uh, for example, uh, Brooks Kepka. He played this tournament uh, three years ago and uh, in his uh, final round uh, shoot uh, 62 and set up a uh, uh, course record uh, for Kunetická Hora. We are very proud for uh, this player and uh, Hun An. Uh, he played uh, two years ago and uh, last year he won BMW PJ Championship in London. So. Also, we are proud on uh, uh, Hunan. Plenty of top players to focus on this week. But what should they be looking out for out on course? It's a very specific uh, course in Czech Republic, uh, very flat. The conditions are very different and difficult uh, when it's windy here. There are many, many long uh, holes and a lot of bunkers. Yeah, very difficult course. Two players not finding it too hard were Shiwan Kim and Ben Eccles. The two first out in the morning and both sitting at the top of the board. Kim made a par here at 17, but a drop shot either side meant he dropped down to four under par. Eccles also made par at the 17th, but birdies either side would mean he'd sit top of the board as the afternoon groups headed out. Joining him there was Jordan Smith, a winner in Egypt already this year, the Englishman showing fine form again. Birdie here on his 15th hole, taking him into a tie for the lead, and he'd add one more a hole later to take the outright lead at 8 under par. At 7 under par is France's Adrian Sadier. Two bogeys as well as seven birdies and an eagle on his card, and also in that tie for second to Andrea Pavan and Rainier Saxton, both carding flawless 65s to make sure the field is bunched right up. Lots of good play today then, and plenty of intrigue going into round two. You can catch highlights on Facebook, Twitter, and europeantour.com.